haters are always in the comments saying I never ride my Harley Davidson. Well, guess what, my friends? And the lie detector test determined you're telling the truth. The truth! Bag secured. I uh, went with Oppo, 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 I think, today. Um, I love this place. It's over here in Decatur. Um, that's what this bike is often used for just riding the coffee shops which i think that's what adventure bikes are for um we're not really going on adventures we are just gonna go to coffee shops gonna run our errands you know um this bike has actually been on some epic adventures but a lot of times it's just doing this right here you know So over the last year, this bike has been everything I expected it to be, honestly. Um, I just wanted something that could take me off the beaten path, that could take me down trails slowly and just let me meander and explore and find cool little hidden areas. And this bike has been doing that. Um, anytime it hits an obstacle that it just can't quite ride over, I can usually find my way around it because the bike is so nimble or use like just brute strength to get it over the thing. We've definitely picked it up over some logs and whatnot, but it hasn't met a trail or an environment that it can't handle yet the only time i feel like it's met its match and i want to say it met its match but it was still going it just wasn't any fun was riding two up through sand we were just sinking and burying ourselves and just not the right setup for that tires were too thin tires were over inflated way too much weight on the rear like just with both of us sitting on the back of it right over the tire you know like your weight falls right in line when you have two people right on the rear wheel so we were just burying the rear end. Um, it was still trunging along, but it was going really slow and it just wasn't any fun. But every single other environment this thing has been in, it has risen to the occasion. I just said risen really weird because I was gonna say rose, but you get the picture, the bike can do it. Anywhere you wanna go, this thing will get you there as long as you're not trying to get there very fast. I've ridden down these kind of railroad tracks before. Uh, not on this bike yet. Generally, when I've done this, I've been on the Versus but this bike seems better equipped for it. And so far, so good. So far, that has proven true. Um, I am just trundling along, nice and easy. Um, it is getting pretty narrow over there, so we're gonna reach a point where I can't keep going, I think. Um, but so far, so good. Uh, can we make it? I think we can. Let's just keep going. See what we can do. <laughs> this is great. Oh, there's some noises. There's some crazy noises going on. Uh, thinking it might be time to jump the track. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's fighting it. Whew. All right. Getting more difficult. Uh, yeah, let's jump the track. I think it's time. Congratulations, you played yourself. While riding on this random railroad track that I found, I lost my phone. So I left the bike and hiked back in about a mile and I found it. So we're filming on the cell phone right now. My bike is somewhere way down there. <laughs> so I'm gonna go find that. Um, I don't know how much of the ride even recorded because my uh, helmet camera ran out of storage space during it, um, but yeah. I'm gonna hike about this, I don't know, another half a mile to where the bike is. 
and then I got about another half a mile that I have to ride the bike to get out of here over these rocks. Uh, never a dull moment with the Trail 125. I highly recommend just, whew, let me turn this around. I am. Highly recommend just going wherever the hell the wind may take you. Uh, <laughs> I also recommend bringing water with you because your boy needs some. Um, if this video never gets posted and you find this on my cell phone, shout out to all my subscribers. <laughs> Uh, all jokes aside, it's going to be easy. You're seeing this right now, so you know it was easy. Um, I got about, just, my bike is, there's not that bridge right ahead of me, but there's a bridge further out you can probably see. Uh, my bike is parked near there. So get to that, hop on, ride on out. Hopefully the bike is still there. <laughs> oh man, all I need is to get there with my phone that I just found and the bike to be stolen. Exceptional luck, but good day though. I honestly love this shit. I love exploring seeing what I can see, making these random videos. This is kind of the, the heartbeat of the channel is just this exploration, figuring out what's gonna happen, <laughs> losing my phone, losing my way, getting stuck. I lifted the bike literally over all of these railroad tracks because I couldn't find enough traction to ride over them. And they were just tall enough to where the skid plate would beach. Um, so yeah. Never a dull moment. I love this shit though. I wouldn't trade it for the world. These are the videos I wanna make. These are the days I wanna have. I'm glad you guys are, because this is living y'all. This is living. <laughs> I am very bald right now <laughs> and very sweaty. <laughs> this bridge is about my halfway point. I gotta get to that bridge way up there where hopefully the bike still is at. Let's get it. There she is. There she is. My sweet serenity. The Honda Trail, right where I left her. Let's hope the key is still in my pocket and I haven't lost that too. <laughs> God, I love this bike. God, I love my life. Let's gear up and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Woo, so glad to see this bike. I could kiss it. We have survived, team. Out of the woods slash the railroad track headed home i am gassed i absolutely need some water some gatorade some something but i survived um appreciate every single one of you for coming on this silly silly adventure with me <laughs> um, uh, if you haven't yet please go ahead and hit subscribe if you like this video hit thumbs up because that'd be super sick of you i'd really appreciate that and last but not least go out and adventure do something fun go find something to do you know Get off the couch, get off YouTube, go outside. You won't regret it. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.